Hello. So here I have two iPhone XRs. Now, the iPhone XR for a screen repair, it comes with two manufacturer of displays. It comes with Toshiba, which starts with the serial number C11F7C, or it comes with LG, which start with the serial number DTPC3F. You can find the serial number on the back, on the backlight, um, right here. Now, this screen is a, it's an F7C screen, so that shows that it's a Toshiba screen. The IC that is on this screen is from a Toshiba paired logic board, and I've moved the original IC to this screen. This IC does not match either of these phones. Both of these phones are, they originally had LG DTP C3F screens calibrated with them, both of them. Okay, so this is a C11 F7C screen. I've moved the IC over to this screen for the repair of a completely different device, but I want to show this screen working on two LG calibrated devices to show how the screen behaves. So on phone number one, the one I was using as the tester for the IC swap, believe it or not. You can see the, the touch works fine at the bottom, but as soon as you go into the second half of the screen, touch is dead. So settings, if I scroll up, dropped it halfway down, okay? So this is an originally calibrated LG logic board with a C11 F7C screen fitted. So as per the rules that we normally work by for screen repairs, you'd expect some type of touch issues with it. Now this is also a LG DTPC 3F paired logic board. So this would be looking for an LG DTPC 3F screen. However, I'm connecting a C11 F7C screen again. So you'd expect it to behave in exactly the same way as it did on this phone, because I've done this IC swap now three times on this screen thinking that the screen was faulty. So we'll open the settings up and we'll scroll up. And the top half of the screen is absolutely fine. Scroll to the bottom, tap the notch. Oop, okay. Tap the notch, it goes to the top. So the top half of the screen works fine. The bottom half of the screen works fine. The screen works fine. So here we have two logic boards that are calibrated for LG displays both fitted with the same C11 F7C screen and both act in completely erratic ways. Uh, sorry, one acts in a completely erratic way even though the display is fully functional.